Hey, Bart Miller back with Cycling Strong. We're talking with Swiftwick right now, and there's a couple things that I want to make sure that we highlight for you. The first video has a lot of information on different things where they source materials, all that kind of stuff, which I hope makes a difference to you, but reality is, I know marketing, I've been in this space a long time, and you probably you. don't care about that as much as what it really does for you on the bike at the time you're on there. I see cyclists all the time throw trash on the ground, so if it meant so much, they wouldn't do that. So the point is this, when you're wearing a Swiftwick sock, compression is a really big part when you're wearing something like that. So you want to think about when you're buying a sock, not just getting your feet dry, but what's it doing to make the blood flow go through. When you start to look at longer socks in compression, you're going to find in cycling that it, it makes a huge difference in a long day on the bike of eight hours, nine hours time period. And that's why a lot of cyclists and regulations are starting to look at the length of the sock that you can wear. Because if they don't, you can have an actual advantage over a competitor strictly because of the sock you're wearing. Now, I want to talk about that a little bit. What is the height of your sock when you're wearing that right now? So I'm wearing what's called a four. So we decided to name our naming convention for our various models is based on, think of it as inches above the top of the shoe. Yep. So a zero is essentially a no-show. Okay. A one is an ankle sock. Okay. A two is mid-ankle. A four is a crew. A, uh, a seven is a mid-calf, essentially. And a 12 is the over the calf. So compression's important for several reasons. First of all, the sock's not gonna move around in your foot. You're not gonna get a blister from it bunching up. You're not gonna get a hot spot. You're not gonna get it. You're not going to be in the middle of a race or a long ride and go, why is my foot bothering me right now? Or set it and forget it. So that's the first thing about compression is the way it fits. The next thing about compression is we talked about reducing muscle vibration. Muscle vibration equals fatigue. If you can support muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints, you're going to feel better longer. The next thing about compression is blood flow. If you can improve the way the blood returns to the heart, there are performance advantages to that. Um, both in activity as well as in recovery. So the biggest thing that I want to point out in compression is, is that the tightness of the compression does make a difference. People don't believe that, but there's actually patents on how much compression you want to put on things to make blood flow work. So when you really get into this, there is a lot of research into it. They also show that a 12 inch is ideal right at the calf to start to give you the best compression. If you can go higher, it even is going to give you better. So I'm not going to get into all that technical stuff, but, but that's the kind of technology these guys are thinking about besides thinking about the comfort of that foot. If you ever have your feet wet when you're in a, in a shoe, it's miserable to ride in. Plus, it causes lots of problems of the dirt, stuff like that to get in there. So this is a great product to also get rid of all that for you. So those are the things I want you to think about when you're thinking about getting a sock. Forget about price, because wearing one of these socks out, it's pretty much impossible, you know, but not that it can't be done. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna wear these socks out, and if you did, you need a new pair, all right? So just go buy another pair of them. But my point is, when you're looking at something for your feet, it's just as important as the shoe you're putting on. So take some serious consideration when you're looking at that kind of stuff. Get out there, ride your bike, have fun, keep your feet happy. See you later.